In this video, we will look at factoring trinomials, which have a greatest common factor. Whenever there is a greatest common factor in the problem, including with trinomials, we must always factor that GCF, or greatest common factor, out first, before we use the AC method and reverse FOIL to factor. For example, in this problem, you notice 18, 21, and 15 are all divisible by 3. Each term also has an x squared on it, because we use the lowest exponent. Factoring out 3x squared will leave us with 6x squared, minus 7x, minus 5 in the parentheses. Once we've factored out the common factor, we will look inside the parentheses to factor this further. We will use the AC method, multiplying 6 times negative 5 to get negative 30, and adding to the middle number, negative 7. A little bit of practice, and we see the pair of numbers we need are 10 and 3, if the 10 is a negative number. We will now factor using these to get the 7x in the middle, from negative 10x and positive 3x. We keep the GCF in front of everything, so we can factor the trinomial. First, we must split up the 6x squared. This could be 6x times x. However, that would require us to factor 6x out of either the negative 10x or the 3x, which we cannot do. Another way would be 2x times 3x. Notice we can factor 2x out of the negative 10, and 3x out of the 3, so this pair should work. We get the right numbers by remembering we multiply outside and inside to get those pairs. Factor a 2x out of something to get negative 10, if we factor 2x out of negative 10x, we get negative 5x, or I'm sorry, just negative 5. When we factor the 3x out of the 3x, we get positive 1. And this gives us our factors. Notice by factoring out the greatest common factor first, we were then able to focus on the parentheses and factor out using the AC method. In part 2 of this video, we will look at another example.